<laughs> so I literally woke up this morning, right? And I thought to myself, hmm, I wonder what I should talk about today. And I didn't even really need to think because I opened up Twitter and BAM! Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny have officially broken up. A source tells people that the Puerto Rican superstar 29 and the model 28 are no longer a couple. The pair were last spotted together at the Saturday Night Live after party in October! Okay, before I continue reading this, that was two months ago. Two months. We are five days away from Christmas and the last time they saw each other was Halloween! But. As horrible as this is going to sound, I was waiting for the day. Not because I want Bad Bunny all to myself or, oh my god, I hate Kendall. It's more so like, the signs were there from the very beginning, so you were just waiting for something to happen, which was the breakup. Because you could tell that all the way back in May of this year, that they didn't really have any chemistry. You can see in this clip that He's not even paying attention to her, and even when he stops to greet someone, she just keeps walking. And later on in the clip, they're not walking side by side, they're not holding hands, he doesn't have his hand like at the back of him so that she can hold it and that, you know, he doesn't lose her to the crowd. And just like he did, when Kendall stops to greet somebody, he literally just keeps walking away. Doesn't even pay attention to what she's doing, doesn't even stop, doesn't even go, oh, is she following me? Like, he doesn't even notice. Then there was this clip that went viral from the exact same night where these two are just sitting in complete silence. And apparently their body language says everything that you need to know. That was only a month after they started dating, so I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. However, this dynamic didn't change. Because even when we were approaching the later months of the year, like August, September, October, they would still leave events separately. They would still arrive at locations separately. It's always Kendall in front and Bad Bunny trailing behind her. Like, they don't wait for each other! saying they have to be kissing and holding hands and hugging every time that we see them, but every time we do see them, they just look bored. And honestly, a little tiny bit miserable. Or we saw Kendall who was doing the smiling and Bad Bunny just looking like he'd rather be anywhere else in the world than be in that moment. And to further prove my point that I was expecting this to happen, I just didn't know when. In September, they both went to a Gucci show and the way they're interacting or the lack of interaction with each other was already a really early sign that things were coming to an end. Kendall and Bad Bunny literally don't even interact when the cameras aren't on them. And it's because, and say it with me now, it was a PR relationship. And in this clip from the exact same show, Bad Bunny just looks completely lost. And Kendall has to search around like, babe, where are you? Oh, there you are, come on, come here. And he walks over like a petulant teenager. Get a quick picture. There was no acknowledgement, like, oh yeah, babe, I'll be there. There was no, oh, sorry, I couldn't find you. There you are. It was Kendall being like, come on, and Bad Bunny being like, yes, dear. And like I said before, 
They leave restaurants and they don't even walk out hand in hand. There is no walking side by side like couples do. In fact, he takes his time to get back into the car. Also, Bad Bunny was always just oddly vague about the relationship and never really confirmed anything for some reason. Because here's what he had to say on his relationship status with Kendall. They, friends and family, are the only ones to whom I have to clarify anything. As for Juliana Dominguez from Mississippi, I have nothing I need to clarify to her. Never. About anything. Okay, tough guy. Chill out. Like, I'm confused. What did any of that have to do with Kendall? Now, if you do go to Kendall's Instagram, she does still follow Bad Bunny, so obviously nothing absolutely god-awful happened. There's no bad blood, the insider claimed. They are even still in contact. Their relationship had been rocky due to their busy schedules. The rapper is planning a world tour in 2024, making it even harder to keep a potential relationship afloat, and Jenna felt the relationship truly huh? ran its course. In other words, she got bored. There was no flame left. It had fizzled out. But in light of the breakup between Kendall and Bad Bunny, it completely paints this video that went viral last month in a completely different light. Can you sign my shit? Sure. Oof, you the fucking best? Yes, man. No, you're great. I'm gonna skip that one. That's cool. Because people in the comments were saying, oh, it's just contractual obligations. She's not allowed to sign something with Gucci or whatever on it. And okay, I understand that. But let me raise you this. What if they had already been broken up by that point? And she couldn't sign that picture with Bad Bunny on it because he was no longer her boyfriend anymore. But I'm just hoping, I am on my hands and freaking knees begging the universe to let this happen to Kylie and Timothy. I don't want to have to keep seeing hints of Kylie being involved with Timothy even though it's been an entire year since these rumors have been out and they haven't confirmed jack shit. I'm sick of Kylie making it so obvious for everyone around her. Showing off her lock screen like she's in her very first relationship ever. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video, Mwah. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video, bye guys!